Don't ever give up. I don't care how dark it seemed for you. Don't ever give up. Don't ever stop believing. And I know sometimes that's difficult because it seems like, man, it ain't going right at all. I was reading a book T.D. Jakes has out. It's called Hope for Every Moment. It's like one of those, you've seen those daily thought books. It's inspirational thoughts for every day of the year is what it is. My daughters actually gave it to me for my birthday because they've seen me change as a person over the years. I'm not guessing this, they've actually written it to me. And so they really do appreciate the change of me just becoming a better person, you know, because when you become a better person, you become a better person, not only for yourself, but a lot of people are affected by you being a better person. Your children are affected, your wife is affected, your coworkers are affected, a lot of your friends are affected, your neighbors get affected. When you become a better person or start to make that change, it affects a lot of people. The biggest benefit of it all will probably be you. I know I've benefited the most. There are so many auxiliary benefits of just being a better person. And, and I, I've stopped saying trying to be a better person because I just got to go about the business of getting better. Now, doesn't mean that I'm mistake free. That's not what that is. And it doesn't mean I don't still need encouragement and I won't fall and make a lot more mistakes because I will. But I find, man, in these books that they give me, I find so many inspirational things. And this morning when I decided to say to everybody, don't ever give up because I know how difficult it can be. Because I do understand, man, that we will all face moments and challenges in our life that's going to require us to just hold on. I wanted to encourage everybody. In this book I read, it says, uh, well, it didn't say it, but I'm, I'm paraphrasing it now. If you ever felt like you can't find him nowhere, I mean, you ever been in a hole so dark and a situation so bad, you just felt like, man, I just, I just can't find him nowhere. Or I can't find him where I thought he would be. I've actually felt that before. And I was thinking, man, well, okay, Steve, well, maybe a lot of people have been feeling that way and maybe you ought to share your experience with them. And that's what I'm doing today, you know. Maybe you've told yourself that the storm gonna be over soon. See, this is the one that I used to do all the time. I used to say, man, the storm gonna be over soon. And then the sun came out and then it just left. Okay, hold on. Then the sun came out and then it just left. And then the rains just keep coming. I, sometimes, man, you just go, wow. And it almost feels like God then missed his appointment. Okay, see, this is why I used to really get in trouble. At. I used to think, man, okay, is he not listening to me? Does he not hear me? Because I'm, I'm not only calling, I'm actually crying. I'm crying out, and, and I want this to be fixed now. You know, I used to think, okay, man, I've been praying about this. I've been going through this. Okay, I done said I give. I done already said I get the message. I done said I get the point. Man, I was wrong. Do I have to keep getting beat like this? Ain't I paid enough for my wrong decision? I used to just think like that. I think he'd have moved on it by now. But what I want y'all to remember is that, and this is what I read in this book. In the book it said that God doesn't synchronize his clock by your little mortal watch. God don't synchronize his clock by your little watch you got on your wrist. God is in control of this whole thing. He does not move in a timely basis according to what you got to have. Now he gonna fix it for you. He gonna get it together for you. But it's in his time cause he doing a whole lot of shaping and moving. And what I had to learn about when I was praying for stuff was, it ain't just me that's affected. Remember at the top where I said when you become a better person, it affects everybody? Well, guess what? When God answers a prayer, it affects everybody. See, everybody got to learn lessons along the way. And maybe he got you going through a little bit more than what it looks like they going through because he never puts more on you than you can bear. And so he puts you in a situation that you can handle. So what you got to do is, since God don't synchronize his clock by your little mortal watch, he got a set time that he gonna bless you. The key for you is to hold on. That's the key for you, is to hold on.